When Armory 3D was developed to support Blender 2.79, there were two features that really attracted new users. One of them was embedded rendering, so you could preview your game directly in the window, such as UPBGE is capable of doing. However, with API changes, this was no longer supported. A second tool was live patching, where you could move an object around in your viewport, and that would get automatically updated in your render preview. However, since the render preview was no longer available, live patching was harder, but it was also interrupted by the API, so live patching was limited. But it is still available and is still super useful, especially for doing things like world building. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. First thing we want to do is to have a way to figure out, to um, be able to play your game and code it simultaneously. So what we're going to do is download a program called Deskpin, which is going to allow you to pin a, uh, a window on Windows for free. Obviously this is only for Windows and I'm not sure if it supports other operating systems. You'll have to figure that out for yourselves if you have that issue. Uh, but for Windows users this will work very well and the program is free, very lightweight and not hard to use whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to access live patching. So let's go down to the Army project in the render path and let's go and click on the runtime um, section here. Just click live patch, easy as that. But let's go down to window and make sure you check maximizable and minimizable just because I like having full control over your window. Just make sure you don't put it into a uh, full screen because then you won't be able to, well it'll be in full screen so you won't have access to these um, vital tools. But that's not too important, let's get on and just play this file. So what I want to do here is just to pin it and then start working on building the environment uh, while having the game preview open and, and that looks pretty cool. Okay so what I want to do is just resize it so it is so I can actually see both Blender and the render preview something like that bring it in a bit now I can navigate around my scene and I can actually uh, see uh, what's going on but I can also, well I can't actually <laughs> get axe, I can't actually mess with uh, the viewport and view it because every time it goes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and grab desk pin. And then I'm just going to pin the window where it is and you see that little pin icon appears. Meaning that when you click off it doesn't actually disappear. So now I can start working on the scene. So as you can see when I rotate this it updates in real time. And this is a really cool tool for development that all game engines should have and uh, it's just really useful. Now there are limitations to live patching in Armory and to read up on those limitations you can find a link in the description. But for world building in general it is well, super easy, you can uh, move things around and that's all you really need to do. Uh, there are some limitations when doing lighting and materials but all that can be done and um, without using this method, without live patching and it, 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 it's not that much of a hazard but actually getting your scene set up to look right that is uh, an essential element, it's uh, essential to have live patching to save you a ton of time. So here we go, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this a huge time saver and I'm sorry I didn't talk about this pre uh, before I've just been a little bit busy on my own. Now if you do want to get access to the scene right here in question then you can go check it out in the website linked in the description called poly.pizza uh, and uh, basically the website is just dedicated to uh, game free game models which are all low poly and all fit a specific low poly style with a very low poly count and it's just completely free and it's a, a really amazing website that a lot more people should use. Uh, so definitely go check it out if you want and see you in the next video.